A 16-year-old boy comes to a country estate for the summer, where there are a lot of pretty and uninhibited girls and women of different ages and backgrounds. Hello everyone, this is Recap Movie Hub. Today I'm going to tell you about the movie Exploits of a Young Don Juan. On a trip to a country estate, a guy named Roger was fascinated by Mrs. Muller's maid's deep cleavage, which he couldn't stop staring at. When he arrived at the place, he was greeted by his mother and aunt and his little sister, Bertha, with whom they went for a walk. On their walk, they met Mrs. Muller again, who was picking fruit for Roger. Suddenly, before the boy's eyes, the maid lifted up the hem of her dress and went to the bathroom. Roger was so surprised that he bulged his eyes. After they continued walking, Roger noticed Mrs. Muller's husband performing a ritual to wake up his brave soldier in the woods. He accidentally stepped on a branch and gave himself away, after which he decided to run, but tripped and fell to the ground. The sound of a woman's laughter nearby caught his attention, and he discovered a maid named Ursula singing songs while someone was sweating over her. When she greeted him, he decided to run off with all his might. The boy's mother constantly monitors the behavior of people in the house and reminds everyone how to behave properly and politely at the table. She calls for Nanny Kate to put Berta to bed, and when they leave, Roger pretends to yawn and asks his mother for permission to go to bed as well. As he prepares for bed, he hears the clinking of dishes in the hallway. Looking out of his room, Roger notices Helen the maid, who is halfway out of the room because someone has attached themselves to the girl from behind. Shaking it off, Helen goes on to serve tea. The next day, Roger's father arrives at the manor with Lisa, his older sister. Buongiorno, Elisa. His father owns a factory that produces military accessories and laments the fact that in peacetime, people like him have to live on water and bread, although his competitors are not shy about producing orders and medals for the Germans who are gradually taking over Europe. A few days later, on his way back from the farm where Roger has been spying on the maids, the boy meets Bertha, who takes her brother to a monastery where the women of the estate often go to confession. This time, Marguerite, Roger's aunt, came to the convent. During confession, she confessed that she constantly thinks about sexual relations with different men, including her nephew Roger. Upon hearing this, the boy begins to crawl closer but falls through, interrupting his aunt's confession. I... Roger! Uh... Roger! Uh... As punishment for eavesdropping on other people's secrets, he faces a whipping with stinging nettles. At the same time, Lisa's husband returns from the front. In the evening, Roger hears footsteps again in the corridor. Looking out, the boy notices, as he did the last time, that someone is grabbing Helen and beginning to satisfy her. It is not only Roger who is watching, but also the local astronomer. Climbing into the attic where the telescope stands, Roger discovers that he is watching not the stars at all, but those who make love under the moon. Nearby lies a little book, the Kama Sutra, which Roger steals and hides in the chicken coop. While studying the book in the barn, his hard manual labor is interrupted by one of the workers. Helen peeks through the window of the chicken coop, scattering bird feed. As the worker approaches her, he lowers the shutter, trapping Helen in the window. One day after following Mrs. Muller, Roger follows her into the convent. The woman asks her husband to step outside. Approaching her from behind, Roger grabs her by the waist, trying to dock with her. At this time, the letter carrier shouts from the street about the outbreak of Germany's war against France. La guerra. La guerra. La guerra. Roger's father thinks this is a good sign for his factory 
as it will begin producing metals and decorations, bringing him great profits. After all the men of the estate leave for the front, Ursula asks for Roger's help, as the lad's mother has allowed the servants to move into the house after there are no men left except Roger. The boy helps drag Ursula's mattress, which ends up benefiting the wallpaper. While swimming in the pond, Roger hears Bertha's nanny Kate singing. The girl hears about the boy's adventures, so, pulling up a hem, she invites the boy to her place. Allora, ne ho sentito delle belle su di lei. In the evening, Helen comes to Roger's room with tea. Since all the men have gone to the front, no one else uses the maid dirty in the hallway, so she comes to Roger, hinting at him in every possible way. After telling the boy that he's a good sleeper as it is, and without any tea, Helen is about to leave, but as soon as she crosses the threshold, Roger grabs her. The next day, Roger sees his sister Lisa on horseback and goes to the stables to get her. Hearing that Lisa is hot, the boy begins to undress her. The girl resists, but as soon as Mrs. Muller enters the stable, she calms down. After that, she jumped on top of the stallion herself. Since there are no men on the estate, with the exception of the recently arrived head of the family, as evening falls, the maids go to Roger for their portion of love. After Ursula and Helen, his Aunt Marguerite, and then Kate, enter Roger's room. A short time later, Lisa announces that she is pregnant by her younger brother. This rather poignant conversation is interrupted by the roar of an airplane engine, in which Lisa's husband has flown in from the front. In addition, former workers with various injuries begin to show up at the estate. In the evening, Ursula walks into Roger's room to inform him that she too is pregnant. The boy offers the only solution, to marry someone from the estate. Then Marguerite walks in with the same news as the others. The boy manages to get out of it by persuading Ursula to marry an injured farm worker and his aunt by bringing her to an astronomer peeping at couples through a telescope. Roger stains Lisa's sheets with paint and suggests that her sister sleep with her fiancé to shift the responsibility of her pregnancy to him. Vacation ends, and it's time to leave for back to the city for school. While Roger was packing his suitcases, he met Helen, who was also pregnant. Although all the maids of the manor were insistent on getting married, Helen declined the idea. After Roger packed his things, he left the house, and all the women of the manor came out to say goodbye to the boy. That's all for today. Subscribe and like it if you want more videos like this.